guys so today I am in my kitchen and I'm doing something a little different today than I normally do on the channel I thought it would be fun to give you just a little um, tour of my kitchen and show you some of our creative storage solutions um, if you're new my name is Tanya and this is the little vintage cottage YouTube channel a little background, my boyfriend and I purchased a 1960 fixer-upper house together. Both of our old places had pretty large kitchens. Maybe not large kitchens, but lots of storage. My old house was 1960s ranch, and it had a ton of storage. In fact, after living there for, I think, six years, I still had at least one cabinet that was basically empty. So, a lot of storage. So, we moved into this little house. Um, and the kitchen is just tiny. I grew up in a house with a tiny kitchen and it just feels very homey to me, um, cozy, I love it. But it presents a storage problem. So I just wanted to share some of the storage solutions that we've come up with. And I would love to hear any that you have used or thought of that might be helpful for us because I'm sure I haven't come up with them all. I'm always looking. So. Let me show you around. All right, I am standing back in the dining room. As I have finished this wall in the dining room, I created this built-in plate rack, um, which as you can see, I use mostly for cutting boards and decor. But I will link the um, post for that. This is my little buddy, Timmy. Um, he's been real sick lately, so he just is kind of glued to me, hangs out with me everywhere I go. So I'm just going to go through the storage solutions that we have come up with. So, we have just finished updating this kitchen, um, working with what we have. I, it's not, we did not hire anybody. We wanted to work with the original cabinets and we haven't done anything like replace counters or anything like that yet. We did buy the new fridge to replace the old one. This is the GE Cafe line, which was a splurge, but um, it's counter depth because this kitchen is so small. So, all right, so some of the solutions that we have come up with, I added this it is a shower uh, tension rod, shower curtain rod that just, you know, it expands to fit the space. So um, I added that and I bought some gold uh, S hooks to match it, which actually are shower curtain hangers. Anyway, and so I hang hung our um, copper bottom pans. I did try and shine them up. It didn't work. I didn't have any copper, so I've been looking for it at Goodwill. Um, this one here, I found at Goodwill recently, and it brings back memories because these are the kinds of pans my mom used, and I was in charge of shining the bottoms. So anyway, I uh, there's a cutting board and some copper measuring spoons, and then I like to change this piece out for the seasons. So right now we're getting close to Valentine's Day, so I just found that heart at the thrift store. So that's one way um, that we're utilizing our space here is that would have been empty space before and so I'm using it to store some of our pans. Then uh, we have a countertop, a counter cooktop and so there's no oven underneath it. So what we did was we installed one of these tip out trays which typically you see them under a sink. We couldn't fit one um, near our sink because well I'll just show you the sink we bought a new sink when we moved in and it is too close to the front here so there's no space in here for a tip out tray so that one's just false makes me sad but whatever we did install one over here we use it for basting brushes measuring spoons you know just little things that we use on this side of the kitchen I have used canisters or you know just containers this I don't know what this is used to have a lid obviously but we use it for our wooden spoons and things that we use when we're cooking this one I put all of the black stuff in um, I 
like the way that looks and so that's why I even though it's on the counter storage I like it to look nice so that's why I grouped all the black together and all the wood together and you know our garlic goes in here these are not real butcher block this is contact paper that is made for counters and I will link that video below um, I like them and in fact when I put them in the first thing out of Tobin's mouth was, wow, that looks really good. When we get ready to replace the counters, let's get real butcher blocks. So, um, you know, it's an easy way to, to fix something up until you can afford the real thing and also to see what it's going to look like. So um, back to the storage down here. These are the original cabinets we installed pull out racks to take because these are real deep and so things would get shoved back there and we'd never be able to get them out so we installed these pull out racks here this is as wide as they get they will get skinnier but we opened them as wide as we could and then we put things that we don't use as often towards the back and then the things we use more often up front like the toaster we use it every day i don't like it on the counter but I kept it with an easy reach. I also, excuse me, installed these lid holders, which are just, they just stick on. Uh, they've been up for a couple months now and no issues with them. I like them. So those hold the lids. This is a pan lid. That's, you know, one of the smaller pot lids. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything fancy. Oh, a basket because again it's a very deep cabinet and so I have a basket for things there's something I need to fix the contact paper uh, I did just hang these up met our met sets of measuring cups I don't what's not working is they're loud when you open them I don't really like that so I'm trying to figure out what I could do I thought about like putting a piece of felt um, on here behind them or something maybe if you have any ideas let me know um, we have a lazy Susan here for our cooking oils we I got a magnetic knife block which it is magnetic both directions so it'll stick to the side of the fridge and also then the knives stick to it so that's been nice um, this is one of my prouder things I just I built this sliding spice rack which fits in the little space between the fridge and the counter so I will link to my inspiration for this project um, because she did do a tutorial. Hers was as tall as the fridge, so it was much larger. We went with a shorter one, and let me just show you the back. It's not, not pretty. These are little pieces of felt so that it won't scratch up the fridge because it's a tight space, and sometimes it does scrape, but it almost adds a little more counter space even though you can't really use this, but it looks good I like it so over here we have this was at Tobin's house Timmy's having a little bite to eat this was at Tobin's house and um, he was gonna get rid of it but I decided that we could use it here it's on skinny <clears throat> all I did to it was paint the handles because they were silver and we've got gold hardware in the kitchen I got this spice rack on Amazon I will link to it um, I wallpapered the back of it so that it matches the wall kind of almost gives it a built-in look I keep we keep our so Tobin makes um, almond milk and kefir and these are the jars that he uses for that so we keep those in here Baskets. I use baskets a lot in the kitchen. This one has hot cocoa mixes. This one has the lids for all the jars that he uses for his 
kefir and oat, uh, almond milk making stuff. Up here, I have one of these belly baskets and we use it for chips and rice cakes. This is just, I just set this up here. I don't know. I like this little pig thing. I don't really know what to use it for right now. It just has the jar with the dog treats in it. Right here is the little dog eating station, which I have a plan. I'm going to make a, well, I had in my old house um, a raised bowl holder, and I just need to do a little fixing up and revamping of it. Over here, this is one of the new pieces that I bought and then fixed up. It's a buffet <clears throat> or a console. I think I got it on Wayfair. And then I added the burlap to the doors to make them look like cane doors. That's an easy way. If you like the look of cane doors, cane webbing, you can buy it. It can be a little expensive. So I chose to try out the burlap, and it has the same feel. Then I also added these lights. The sunshine is really shining today. So I added these finger pulls. Um, just to get jazz it up a little and they're gold like the rest of our hardware. There's another basket with some junk. That's my lunch bag when I have to go to work. I added legs to it. It did not have legs. And so it was really short for one and I just wanted to add legs to spruce it up a little. Let's see. Cookbooks coffee grinder, growlers, things like that so far. This basket, another basket, it has um, uh, charging cords and things like that in it. I like to display my plants on top. Okay. This little table is something that Tobin had and I actually redid it for him when we were still living separately and I think that there's a blog post for that, maybe. I'll see if I can find it. It was just a little cherry wood, cheap little table and it was ugly and it was all chipped up. So I took it and painted it white. Yeah, I know you can't see it now, but the top I just stripped and stained. It's got this little tiny drawer. I put this cute little fox knob on it. There's nothing in the drawer right now. Okay, and I just recently put it in here to hold the toaster oven because we don't have any place for it. We've got very limited counter space and it just, that's it for our counter space. And when you put this big thing up there, there's like no room. So I Wanted Tobin to be able to use it. I don't really use it, but he does. And so this was the solution I came up with. So I just slid this little table in here, set it on top on a cutting board just in case. I didn't know if it would damage the top of the table or not. And then just to dress it up, I put a cutting board on top and a plant. Anyway, I've got a couple little decor items up here. Leftovers are for quitters. <laughs> Um, up here, I added a couple of little corner shelves. Um, right now, I just have a cactus on it and a little picture that I found at the thrift store. I recently added this blind. We don't close these this, but because it's our backyard and it's very private. But I just like the warmth that the reeds bring in. <clears throat> um, what else? Here's another basket. Our cutting boards that we use every day are slid right there on the side. Another basket. This holds um, vitamins, Timmy's meds, things like that. I redid this. This is an old cutting board that I stenciled a long time ago and I put little feet on it just for, I don't know. I like to have pretty things out. So, you know, I could just set the soap on the counter and it would be fine but I like to make things look a little pretty and so um, I just you know little wood bowls that I found at the thrift store and some Valentine's towels are just sitting on there um, our kitchen has one of these old-school pull-out cutting boards which actually I don't know if you knew this or not but these are not cutting boards 
These were originally intended to be breadboards. Um, so I refinished this one. I will link to that post and you can see what kind of shape it was in when we bought the house. It was pretty nasty. But so we use this almost just like more counter space when we're in here cooking and stuff and we do use it for a breadboard. We do not cut meat or veggies or anything like that on it. We use our regular cutting boards for that. So I haven't mentioned it yet, but our cabinets were the original 19, well, they are the original 1960s cabinets. They had flat fronts on them and were, they had plastic candles that were on diagonally. I'll put a picture up here of them. Um, I took all the doors off and I added trim to give them a shaker feel. New hardware, which we went gold. I reused the old hinges and I used rub and buff, which they don't match exactly, but I did not want to mess with new hinges. I did that to dress up our kitchen cabinets and we really loved the effect that it had. Um, okay, so here we installed the pull-out garbage can and up here, this is our clever solution for our recycle. We, our, re, our garbage and recycle cans are way out there. And so to avoid having a pile of, of recycling on the counter, we came up with this. We added the little shelf. There wasn't one here before. Added the little shelf ab above the garbage. And I had this plastic basket. So... You know, when you rinse out your recycling and you throw it in here, it's not going to hurt the basket since it's wet. So when once that gets full, we take it out to the recycle. Uh, over here, my daughter just found these canisters for me, and I love them. These kind of feel 70s to me, and so I really like that look. So she found them, and she knew I'd like them, so... Um, they do have what it says in them, flour, sugar, coffee, and tea. This is um, an old Folgers can, and I use it to hold our filters. Um, we, I don't think there's anything. We use these uh, risers in our cupboards to hold things. This is where our coffee pot, our coffee cups are. Um, plastic wear, things like that. We have one of those little skinny um, things for uh, cookie sheets and things like that. Let's see, what else? Oh, I've got this hanging fruit and vegetable basket uh, just to get it up off the counter. This one, we took the cabinet doors off and went with kind of an open storage look. Um, I do have a little collection of vintage glassware that I enjoy, and I like to see it, so um, I have those there. I, we do use them. There's another riser. These are our daily Corel plates that uh, we use. That bowl is mostly decorative. I found it at the thrift store, and I liked the mushrooms on it. These containers, there is more tea in one and the bottom one has cookie cutters uh, so I think actually we're going to end up taking this cabinet down and doing real open shelving here but for now this is how it is so what else have we done oh I know hold on let me pause for a second and get out there I'll show you what we've done all right, so I am out in the living room now. This is the front door behind me that you would walk in, and this is the entrance to our kitchen. And there was this little coat closet out here, which I have not painted the door yet. I've been adding trim to these hollow core doors to fancy them up a little, and I haven't gotten to this one. It does have new hardware, a new handle anyway. That's it so far. Anyway, this was a coat closet. We are not going to use it as a coat closet. It's now our clantry. You know how they use closets and turn them into offices and they call them clofices? Well, this is our clantry. <laughs> uh, 
And that is actually what we call it. <laughs> we're kind of a goofy pair here. Anyway, we're not gonna use it as a coat closet because this wall here, when you come in the front door, it's gonna have coat hooks. Um, it's where we'll hang our coats that we're wearing, you know, a lot. Like now it's winter, so we'd hang our coats there. Right now they're hanging on the banister. But we have our normal coat closet downstairs for like out of season or things that we aren't using. I hope that's making sense. So in the summer, all of our coats will be in the closet downstairs. Anyway, back to the clantry. So this is a tiny little coat closet and we, we installed a motion light. So when you open the door, it lights up, which is nice at night. And then I'm trying to back up so you can see it all. We added just some organization type things. We got this thing that hangs over the door at Lowe's for canned goods, just whatever. So we've got it full. Then this unit in here, <coughs> excuse me, is also from Lowe's. It's intended for a clothing closet. We decided to use it in here. It has um, a pull-out drawer. There's different options you can add. They have these pull-out drawers, um, the shelves that can be arranged however you want them. I have a basket down there. The basket, this has baking stuff in it, um, you know, cornstarch, flour, sugar, those kinds of things. This, just random stuff. This is dog dog foods and treats, um, soaps, things like that, canned food, just, you know, extra overflow because we don't have very many cupboards in our kitchen. This is also where we keep the little broom so that we can quickly sweep up, broom and dustpan. This is the dog food, dry dog food. Um, I got that on Amazon. We stack our paper towels here because we Tobin often makes Costco runs and buys in bulk so um there's that over here that is a picnic um little picnic kit it's got a blanket in it and some plastic dishes and stuff a little step stool so this is how we are using this closet and while it may seem weird to have a pantry in the living room it is working for us and so, um, okay, things that aren't working. Let's see. This rug is not working. I got this at Target because I thought it was cool looking. It's not a washable rug, even though, I mean, you can wash your rugs, but it's not one of those new washable rugs that they make. Um, I have washed it once, and it had, it had um, this trim that went all the way down the side that all came out when I washed it which whatever uh, this will not stay down that bugs me no matter what this has been here for months and it has not uncurled that bothers me um, I think it's too light colored because as you can see there's uh, some sort of sauce stain it's I'm keeping it real here guys um, Tobin, like I said, loves to cook, but he's a messy cook, which means he's a good cook. <laughs> and it's a trade-off I'm willing to sacrifice for because he makes some good food. Anyway, this rug isn't working for that reason. It's too light, stains too easy, not easy to wash. The edge won't uncurl. And also, I can't pull it all the way down so it's centered in the kitchen. See, it's way back here on the end because of my pull out little thing because it won't go over the edge of the carpet easily when we pull it out. So I'm either looking for a thinner rug or a darker rug or maybe just one that goes by the sink. I'm not sure yet. I just know this isn't really working for us. What else? <clears throat> um. Oh, we put our microwave up here, which means we lost a cabinet, but again, 
no counter space. If we were to put a microwave here, we're severely cutting our counter space. Um, we did consider one, um, an above the range, but it would have to be low profile because of the, you know, it's a 60s kitchen. Things are not, the counters are not, there's not as much space in between them as there are in some of the newer houses. So uh, we nixed that idea because it would have to be low profile and um, just some things that we use a lot wouldn't even fit in there. They wouldn't stand up straight and I kind of like the old school vent. So we chose to get a convection microwave and we put it up here. This up here isn't working for me. I don't really know what to put up there. Right now it's just got the food cover and the little racks, the metal racks for when you use the microwave as a convection oven. Um, so I don't know if you have any ideas. I was thinking of maybe taking my cookbooks out of this thing and using that better and maybe stacking, just laying the cookbooks down, you know, stacking them this way in here because we don't use the cookbooks all that often. Uh, <clears throat> I also considered making a little door that would open this way, kind of like RVs have. I haven't nixed that idea. I just don't know yet. Uh, we have our hand towel hanging here. Here's another basket. This, we put bagels and bread in there. Um, so this weird little plug-in back here actually is something that Tobin added when we first bought the house. So there weren't a lot of, well, there weren't any plug-ins on this side <clears throat> of the kitchen. There's a plug-in over here. This is the disposal switch and the light switch for this light. And there's a plug-in over there, but none over here. So he added this one. And then this uh, is the electrical. These are little kits that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's to add more outlets where you need them. So this goes up the wall here. You can paint them to match your wall color. And then we routed it through, you can see it right there, through the cabinets. It goes all the way through here, through here. And then we added the outlet here so that we could get the microwave up here. So that was one of his clever things that he did, which I thought was genius. This works for us. This is, um, if you're short, this probably wouldn't work too well for you or you'd need a little step stool. Both Tobin and I are tall. He's probably 6'2 and I am 5'9. So this works well for us being up here. <coughs> we, um hung our paper towels here under the cabinet. Um, what else? I added the peel and stick backsplash stickers. Like I said, the countertop is peel and stick. I just was trying to jazz it up a little, make it more my style and the look that I like. The back wall is peel and stick wallpaper. <clears throat> um, these, I did talk about this, but I forgot to mention the top. These are peel and stick floor tiles that I added to the top because I knew I wanted plants on here. So they're, you know, vinyl. So if a plant happens to get moisture, it's not going to ruin the cabinet. And I kind of like the look. This up here is not working for me. <laughs> I have a bar that, uh, an uh, antique radio that I'm working on making into a bar. So this wine rack will eventually go in it. Um, but so then there's this cabinet up here, which I could put the doors back on. I have them, but I don't know. I thought it would be better used as more of a almost decorative let me know if you see anything um, that you would do differently or anything that you love. I love to hear it. 
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I kind of rambled on a little bit, but I was just trying to remember everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I have tried my best to use things that work in our kitchen for us, and so maybe you can get some ideas too. I also tried to make it um, beautiful. I love this kitchen. It's like one of the only rooms in the house that's done right now, and I just love it. I think it's beautiful. There's still a few things I need to do, but... Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any more ideas for me. Uh, let me know if you found something that you're going to do in your kitchen. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.